what was that? Where are we? I don't know, but it doesn't look good! Oh man, this place is giving me the creeps! Well, let's just look around and figure out where we are for now. What the heck was that? No, wait, I have to figure out where I even am. This is... Oh no! She's dead! No 
she's not! Kurumi, wake up! Kurumi! <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Yuma? Where am I? I don't know. I just woke up too. What is this place? I've never seen anywhere so... creepy. You don't know where we are either? It's raining, so it's probably somewhere in Kanai Ward. But I don't recognize anything here. Who knew there was a place like this in Kanai Ward? There are some rundown shacks over there. Looks like a rural village. Hey, Yuma. Do you remember how you were brought here? Um, let me think. Smoke suddenly came out of my pocket, and I fell unconscious. It must have been a powerful sedative. You were instantly KO'd. I got knocked out too. And I remember seeing on the news before I passed out. The WDO building was bombed by a terrorist. Huh? It was? Could this be related to the explosion? Who could have done this? The criminal being pursued by the World Detective Organization? What's going on? This is totally bizarre. And where is everyone else from the detective agency? If they were taken away like we were, then they should be nearby. We should search around here for now. Master, be careful! I'm worried about that weird shadow from earlier! Right. What was that thing? It's so creepy here. It's like the afterlife. You have no idea what the afterlife is like, kiddo. Want me to show you the real thing? Come on, let's go. Hey, what's wrong, Desahiko? You called me over, said you wanted to talk? Y yeah, uh, about that. Uh, anyway, isn't it so nice to be up here? <sighs> He's been acting like this for over an hour, not telling me why he called. Is it something you have trouble talking about? I don't know if you want to ask me a favor or something else, but you'll have to talk about it first. 
sorry, you're right. Uh, I'm just a bit afraid is all. We're busy here, so hurry it up. Alright, here goes. Right. Um, <clears throat> there's a big reason why I called you here today. Um, will you join my... Ben? Well, d you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, this is too embarrassing. I can't say it. <laughs> My man, you should know what I'm trying to get at. Oh, huh? you sound crazy. I have to do something or this won't end. Um, what is he trying to say? Then... what? Banana? Yeah, bananas! Yeah, I haven't had any in a while. Wait, no! This is... sorry. I guess that's not it. Uh, Desuhiko is trying to talk about... You want to say band? Y yeah. Uh, how about we form a band? <laughs> huh? A band? Master's going to join a band? You know... Stars and bands go hand in hand. I always plan on going solo, but sharing the spotlight with a buddy of mine wouldn't be such a bad thing. For the first time in my life, I finally met someone I'd want to form a band with. It's because I finally met you, a man. Desuhiko. How about it? Do you want to make a band together? Let's journey on a path towards stardom side by side! What? Uh... What'll you do, Master? What do I do? I'm happy Desuhiko invited me, but I don't know how to play any instruments. Besides, I'm not interested in joining a band or being a star. Sorry, I'm happy that you asked, but... <sighs> I see. I guess you don't wanna... I don't know if this makes up for it, but how about I support you as a fan? Huh? M my fan? No way. I can't agree to that. Besides, uh, you've never heard me sing before. Uh, oh, right. And you want to call yourself my fan? <laughs> I doubt it. You're just offering because you feel awkward for turning down my invitation. I'd rather you just completely reject me instead of saying that to make me feel better. No! Deep down, I want to be your fan. You told me before how you chose to be both a star and a detective. I think you're really cool for not giving up on either dream. And in that sense, I'm already your fan. That's why I'm serious about wanting to support you. <laughs> If that's the case, I don't mind having you as a fan. <laughs> but I still hate that you've never heard me sing. So listen to one of my songs right now. Huh? You're going to sing right here, right now? Yeah, my brand new banger. 
the song of my man. To be honest, it was hard to evaluate if Desuhiko's song was good or bad. I'm not sure myself because I don't know much about music. But like his personality, the song was very straightforward and heartfelt. I believe Desuhiko will be able to achieve his dream of becoming a star. I don't know why, but I think it'll come true. <laughs> Master, you and Desuhiko have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Gummy, aren't you what most people are supposed to be afraid of? Kurumi, someone's there. What are they doing? If they live around here, they might know something. Wait, you're going to talk to them? I think that's a bad idea. But we have to find out where we are. It'll be fine, I think. You sure about that? Uh... J sure. Is this really okay? We're just gonna talk, so it should be okay, right? Um, excuse me. Uh, hello? I think we can get in that building. Let's hide there for now.
definitely something wrong with those people. And it wasn't just one or two, but a whole mob! If they all attack at once, you'll be torn to shreds, Master! We need something to defend ourselves. Let's look for something we can use as weapons. Halara asked for me, so I'm at the cafe. Um, Halara? Did you want something from me? Do you really have to ask? It's about your debt, obviously. Well, how do you plan on paying me back? I don't... Um, sorry. Well, you can't do anything but apologize. It appears you have no repayment plan in place. If you don't change that soon, I will consider implementing interest. Please don't! Then you better come up with a plan to pay me back. Uh, all right. But if all you wanted to talk about was my debt, why'd you invite me here? We could have gone over it at the agency. I don't want you to grow accustomed to owing me. People lose their sense of urgency in paying back debts when complacent. That's why I'm reminding you right now. I see. It's not my place to say since I'm the one in debt here, but don't you make enough money as a detective, Holara? You're always trying to make more. What do you need all that money for anyway? <laughs> I suppose I can tell you. Huh? If I continue to save at this rate, I will be able to create a program in about six years. That is what the money is for. A program? A program that will save 30% of all cats around the world experiencing hardship. What? Oh, uh, hmm. That caught me so off guard that I don't know what to say. You want to start a charity? No, not a charity. This is all for my personal satisfaction. Cats provide a healing experience, so I want to give back to them in some way. That's all. That's amazing! How wonderful! Enough. As I said, this is all for my personal satisfaction. I don't want to hear your praise for it. Oh, but if it's so important, why did you tell me? I didn't even threaten you or anything. Yes, about that. I'm sure you already know this, but... A detective can lose their life at any moment. Yeah, you did teach me that. So if I were to die, I want you to carry out this plan for me. I've been thinking it over for a while. I figured this was a good time to tell you. Huh? Why me, though? I'm not sure myself. Why do you think? Does this replace the debt I owe you? Don't insult me. I wouldn't choose you as my successor for such a foolish reason. 
Oh, really? Looks like I was wrong. In that case... Could it be that it's because you trust me? I hope I'm not assuming too much there. Incorrect. No matter who it is, I will not trust any human. So it is not accurate to say, I trust you. I see. However, I wouldn't mind being betrayed by you. Or rather, I would accept a betrayal at your hands. Huh? Isn't that practically the same as trusting me? In my mind, it's entirely different. I don't trust you. Okay. But the way you said you wouldn't mind if I betrayed you... That makes me way happier than if you just said you trusted me. <sighs> anyway, we were discussing something else. You will pay your debt to me in full. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Master, you and Halara have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Envelope? There's a letter inside. Evacuation order. Yesterday, toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines. This area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off limits. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. An evacuation order from Amaterasu Corp. I see. I think I know where we are. Yuma, this is the restricted area. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. So this is where you were talking about. Isn't this where the corpse processing facility is supposed to be? <laughs> this is becoming more of a horror story by the minute! Spooky, spooky, spooky! Oh, yeah, that rumor. I need to confirm it with Karumi. Karumi. There's something I need to ask you. Hmm? Huh? What is it? Halara was investigating the restricted area and mentioned something. In Kanai Ward, corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. But that process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried and who buries them is a mystery. Really? So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility were true? 
I thought you'd know. No, I don't. But why a corpse processing facility? Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. If that's the case, what if bodies coming back to life was an unexpected side effect of the experiment? Would that mean they really are zombies? But that can't be. A corpse can't come back to life. Aren't zombies supposed to be dead? They sure didn't smell like corpses to me. Huh? But they didn't really seem alive either. What are they? If the story of the toxic gas from the mines is true, these could be the residents suffering from it. Anyway, we'll make some of that info a solution key just in case. On an arrow. Talk about old fashioned. What does it say? Warning Homunculi are predisposed to eating human flesh in order to maintain the artificial organic synthesis in their cells. Currently, there are no alternate sources of nutrition, and they grow sick if they do not consume human flesh. Particularly malnourished specimens will attack any human on sight, so please do your best to be careful. From the Amaterasu Homunculus Research Department. A homunculi? Attack humans? They eat human flesh. Wait, so those zombies roaming around here? Those were homunculi? The immortal monsters Grandpa talked about? Then... Yoshiko and the others back there were just homunculi too? But they looked so real. What exactly are they? <sighs> we at least know they're dangerous! We should get out of here, Master! Let's go, Kurumi. We need to leave this village right now. I don't even want to imagine what'll happen if they catch us. We gotta get out of here. We 
we can get out this way. The one sitting over there, is that the priest from the Nailman case? That one seems a bit calmer than the rest. Maybe we can talk to him. What? This is a bad idea! Supposed to be dead. What is a homunculus anyway? Does it surround the whole village? That's right. This is the restricted area. But I think we can climb over it. I'll go first, Karumi. You follow after. Wait! The fence might be... An electric fence? I knew something was odd. You would have been roasted if you touched it. <laughs> are we going to get out of here now? Let's search for an opening in the fence. Oh, Yuma, look! The sound must have drawn them here. <gasps> hey, 
Hey, Yuma. What's that? Such an ominous building. I can hear something inside. It's so massive. Just what is going on in there? Well, we're not gonna find any answers out here. Let's go in. I'm sorry to have called you here, Yuma. It's okay. What's wrong? You said you wanted to talk. Well, about that, I... Perhaps... Maybe... Yuma, I believe I may be in love with you. Romantically. Uh, uh, huh? What? Oh? Did you not hear me? Then I shall say it again. I may be in love with you romantically, Yuma. What? What? Whenever I think of you, my heart feels warm and fuzzy, yet so anguished as well. I thought maybe this is the romantic feeling that people keep talking about. That's impossible! Totally impossible! There must be some confusion. Maybe your mind is playing tricks on you. Someone as attractive as you would never fall for someone like me. Oh, do you really think so? I find you quite an attractive man, Yuma. I... I can't believe you think that. here today to confess these feelings to you. Rather, if these truly are romantic feelings, I wish to thank you for them. Huh? Thank me? To tell you the truth, I have never had romantic feelings for anyone until now. I have had an arranged fiancé ever since I was little. Due to that, I subconsciously kept myself from falling for anyone. Although I yearned for those feelings of love, I knew I must not harbor them. Oh. I worried I would never fall in love. I have always felt such disappointment in myself because of it. But now, I have fallen for you and can experience what it is like. So, I wish to thank you for helping me learn what romance is. That is all. I just wanted to give my thanks. Oh, in that case, I'm glad I could help. I guess? But wait, don't you have a fiancé? Having feelings for someone else is just going to end up making you sad. Not at all. I have decided to talk to my father about turning down my arranged marriage. Really? Are you sure? After all, wasn't that decided by the Clockford family? Of course, it is vital to defend our family traditions and to obey my parents. All my life, I have lived with that as my highest priority. But now, I have decided to forge my own future. 
I've been thinking about it ever since I started working with you all at the agency. I see. She's choosing her own future. I'm glad she can look at it that way. I'm happy for her. But even still... I think you may be mistaken about your feelings for me. Hmm... Are you sure? It is true I have zero experience with romance, so I cannot say for certain. Well then, how about this? Once I am able to confirm with certainty that my feelings are romantic in nature, then, at that moment, will you hear my confession once more? to wait until later. You could say it right now. Huh? What the hell did you just say? Sorry, forget I said that. I'm so stupid. What am I saying? She said she confessed her feelings to me again someday. But that means... Well, if you really do have romantic feelings for me, then... Sure. Thank you very much. Please, consider your response for when I next confess my love for you. Would that mean I'd become the heir to the Clockford legacy? No way, it has to be a misunderstanding. <sighs> it has to be, right? Master, you and Fubuki have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. like some kind of factory it's dark and creepy but it still seems to be functioning but no one's supposed to be in the restricted area what kind of factory is this anyway hmm. 
<laughs> I smell blood. Huh? Blood? Maybe there's something here that's related to the restricted area. This could be dangerous, but we should look inside. Right. We won't be safe no matter where we go anyway. Mm, this factory feels so creepy. If you spot any red or green herbs, be sure to pick it up. just now. It's somehow familiar. Well, we might find out where it's coming from if we keep moving. Let's go, Master. They're over here, too. The smell of blood could be coming from them. Maybe they ate someone. Maybe, but who? A conveyor belt. It looks like they're making something. What's on top of it? Let's go in a bit further and find out. Yuma? What's wrong? Master? Nothing. It's just... I got a feeling we shouldn't go any further. Huh? Why? We might find out the secret of the restricted area. I know, but... Well, how about you wait right here? I'll go and look. Hey, Kurumi! Master, don't tell me you're scared after coming this far. Scared? <laughs> Of course I am. I just... know. The truth awaits us up ahead, in the guise of a monster. Will I... really be able to face it? If you don't like it, you can always run away. No. I'll go. Shinigami, are you prepared to go with me? Don't need to ask twice. I'm always with you, Master. Kurumi! Yuma, look! I thought they'd be making something horrible. But it's just meat buns. They look nice and fresh. Huh? Meat buns? But why here, in the restricted area? Welcome to the Kanai Ward Special Food Facility Tour. What the? Is this some sort of tour guide? This factory operates 24 hours a day to provide safe and secure food to the people of Kanai Ward. This is where they make the meat buns we always eat? All factory manufacturing is fully automatic, so there is no staff on hand. So there aren't any workers around? Up ahead, we shall demonstrate how the specialty food is produced. Our presence here automatically triggered it to go off. I'm not sure. It feels like it was talking to us. That announcement sounds like a trap to me. But we can't turn back now. I've made up my mind. Oh? You're acting more like a detective now. You must have one hell of a mentor. 
Kurumi, let's keep moving. Yeah. I'm not so scared as long as I'm with you. a special food facility, but they're just making... meat buns? Maybe they're using specially chosen meat. Like there's a flavor unique to this factory. Yeah, somehow I don't think that's it. Yeah, that was my idea, but I don't think so either. Here too. They're coming this way. Note that there are no staff in this factory, but there are many hungry individuals wandering about. Please be mindful, as they are partial to fresh food. Zombies! I know! Sound! The zapping sound from the electric fence drew their attention. So some sort of loud sound may distract them. Alright, it's worth a shot! Hey, Master! Don't you think that Amapal over there might do the trick? Distracting them. Yuma, look! That spot where the zombies were gathered. What were they all flocking to? We should really go check it out. I see. sudden accidents while on the factory tour. If you are electrocuted, fall from a great height, or are mistaken as food and eaten, you will join your friend in front of you, so please practice caution. Friend? Then those bombs really are... No 
way. I don't believe it. I refuse to. Yuma... Kurumi, didn't the announcement also say, in front of you? Oh, that means... We're being watched? Who's there? Where are you? What do you want from us? Getting emotional, are we? As a detective, you should know better than that. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. I, I don't want to hear that from you! Are you sure you wish to make so much noise? They'll start coming after you again. Did you read the warning I presented to you prior to this? They only see you as food. If you wish to move on, you should proceed with caution. Now, please enjoy the remainder of the tour. Warning? The letter on the arrow? The person behind that voice has been watching us the whole time. We didn't come to this building by accident. We were led here. Whoever is talking to us, brought us here. But why? Master, look! Huh? This is Desuhiko's handwriting. Really? Are you sure? Yeah. The handwriting matches the note he wrote me when I did some shopping. I'm sure he wrote it. Then... this corpse really is... <laughs> Kanai Ward's history. Kanai Ward was just another remote city in the country. Its development began once Amaterasu headquartered there. Ten years ago, Amaterasu Corporation started their research on homunculi. Top secret research kept from society, which Amaterasu loves for sure. And their client is Yuji, who spent a ton of money to keep the research secure. Did he start rhyming? Is this a joke? It sounds like something he'd write, but the content itself is serious. Hey, what does it say? It looks like Amaterasu's homunculus research was funded by the unified government. Huh? The UG paid Amaterasu Corp to research homunculi? That explains why they haven't interfered with Kanai Ward's isolation. I'm sure they wouldn't want anyone to know they requested such shady research. So Amaterasu had dirt on the UG, which is why they can't say anything. Well, if the unified government is involved, this is becoming a conspiracy on a global scale. When did Desuhiko find out about this? Seems like there's more to it. Why don't you read the rest? The only thing known about homunculus research is that human beings are created from human cells. DNA is extracted from a human that will serve as a base, which is then used to cultivate human cells. Unlike clones, they don't need to be grown from fetuses, and genetic data from the time of collection is replicated. It's an artificial human whose age, sex, and appearance have been perfectly copied. Human cells from DNA... copied... artificial humans? Master, did your brain melt from how complicated this is? Don't worry, I'll make it all a solution key. Desuhiko must have left this report behind, but I don't believe he's dead. I'm sure he's with everyone else, somewhere. Yeah, I agree. I'd rather trust in everyone than believe what that voice says. So let's go find them. Desuhiko is definitely alive. We have to go find everyone right away. 
Getting together again. Shh. They'll notice if you get too loud. Let's stay quiet. Check it out before we move on. Those clothes... Alara? Oh, how tragic. Despite all my warnings, it seems another one of your friends was devoured. No matter how strong they think they are, they're powerless against overwhelming numbers. No! That can't be! Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. <sighs> Master, look at this! There's no mistake. This is Halara's handwriting. Regarding the two research facilities, the Unified Government has heavily invested in Amaterasu Corporation's homunculus research. However, it appears there was another research facility at the same scale, directly controlled by the UG. They had two research facilities compete with one another, in an attempt to further promote development. Naturally, the two facilities became rivals. Competition grew fierce. Soon, they were resorting to any means necessary. Amaterasu Corporation began conducting human experiments, but this did not lead to results. Meanwhile, the Unified Government's research facility gathered DNA through extra-legal methods. They extracted DNA from particularly superior specimens, and used those samples as the core for cells. Alara oh, also managed to dig up all this. A rival facility to Amaterasu Corp. Things are getting even more mysterious now. Can you really solve this thing? Hey, Yuma. Is there something underneath the clothes? It's a key card. Have you grown tired of the tour yet? Because I sure have. Regardless, you deserve respect. You've lost your home, your friends, and I hear you've even lost your memories. What drives you to keep going to such lengths? Justice? Friendship? Or do you just go whichever way the wind blows? You... know who I am? What do you want? 
I should be asking you the same. Why do you want to solve mysteries? B because... I've asked myself that many times, but still can't find the answer. I don't know why I continue to solve mysteries. But I was able to save people by revealing the truth! Exposing the truth doesn't always lead to salvation. You should know that better than anyone. You've learned it full well. It's true, I know. I suffered each step of the way. But then I thought to myself, I don't want to see anyone suffer because the truth wasn't exposed! Yuma... That's why I decided, no matter what the truth may be, I will expose it! That is my wish for everyone who has fallen victim, what I'm praying for! Prayer is the loneliest activity one can partake in. Even if your friends prayed, None of you would reach another. But please, carry on with your solitary struggle. We're not alone. As long as our thoughts are one, we can fight together. And he's got me, too! There goes Flatty taking the spotlight again! He already has me, so he has nothing to worry about. I know I'm not alone. I was able to come this far thanks to everyone else. I'm sure the truth that we seek lies ahead. It may be something terrible, but it's the root of everything in Kanai Ward. We'll bring that truth to light. Let's keep moving. We'll bring the truth to light ourselves. <sighs> but... Actually, there is something that kinda caught my attention. Why was that announcement so spiteful toward you, Master? I don't know, but I'm not going to stop, no matter what they say. Whoa, Master, that was cool! I'm going to haunt you till the very end. Keep going as long as we remain on scene. Let's leave it alone for now. Oh, I forgot to mention. But they each have individual differences. Perhaps there are even some you could speak with. Was that supposed to be some sort of hint? Forget it. It's probably just another trick. But what if... Wait right here, Kurumi. That looks like... I knew it! Zilch! Who's that? You remember the Amaterasu Express on our way to Kanai Ward? Oh! The first soul I reaped in the Mystery Labyrinth! Zilch, the Master Detective! It was actually a hitman disguised as Zilch. So this guy isn't gonna jump ya? Hmm, maybe he's not hungry. I... was hired... by... Director... Yomi. He can talk! To... 
kill anyone approaching Kanai Ward. What's he mumbling about? Huh? No. Um, do you remember me? Amaterasu Express. I was looking for you, Director Yomi. Where, where were you? At the lab again? You must love that place. Huh. <laughs> we can't communicate. He thinks I'm Yomi. Why don't we take advantage of that and get some info out of him? Oh, right. Um, tell me about Yomi. I mean, tell me everything you know about me. Director Yomi. You became director of the Peacekeepers. About... Five years ago, I believe. Things were... good back then. That masked freak wasn't in Kanai Ward yet. It was the ideal environment for my work. That was when I worked as one of your closest advisors. Certainly takes me back. Did he even answer anything? He's not making any sense. Let's keep playing along for now. We might get some information. Um, if you don't mind, can you tell me what it was like back then? Uh, back then, you used Dr. Weska to trade with outside military organizations. Amaterasu's growing success was all thanks to your endeavors. You were on top of the world. If anyone dared raise accusations about you, they were shot on sight. Many hypocrites acting as if they were upstanding citizens were shot on sight. In fact, most of them died by my hands. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Funny, don't you think? Didn't Chief Yako's wife get killed for blowing the whistle on the lab's secret dealings? So that's what was going on. Do you know anything about this restricted area? Restricted area? Oh. You mean the location of Dr. Weska's lab? No. Dr. Weska's lab is located underneath Amaterasu Corp. Yes. Dr. Weska's lab. The new lab was made within the restricted area. Huh? I heard that Dr. Weska tried to rush the homunculus research in order to beat the rival lab. So they built a lab about three years ago and started an experiment. I think it was called Project Homunculus. Was the experiment a success? Or did it fail? 
I guess it doesn't matter. Master, you hear that? Project Homunculus sounds important! So Dr. Weska's lab was around here somewhere three years ago. Could this be about the secret research? Well, if he doesn't know if it succeeded or failed, then there's not much more we can ask him. Uh... Oh, damn. Kanai Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak. It's all his fault. Hmm? He started talking again. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? Yeah. Immediately after Project Homunculus, there was that event. Cold. The Blank Week Mystery. The Blank Week Mystery? The Blank Week Mystery. Unfortunately, all I know is its name, and that it's taboo to mention it in Kanai Ward. You know about that case? What happened? Damn. Kanai Ward changed. Thanks to that masked freak, it's all his fault. That bastard appeared. Uh, when was it? He's going in circles! Oh, so irritating! Oh, yeah. Around the time of the Blank Week mystery. Right after that, the masked freak appeared out of nowhere. And he became CEO of Amaterasu in the blink of an eye. It's so irritating. <laughs> right, Director Yomi? That freak ordered the homunculus research. To be shut down. Who does he think he is? What? Makoto shut it down? Tell me more, Zilch! Uh -huh. Ah. Director Yomi. I was looking for. Director Yomi, where were you? At the lab again. Oh, you must love that place. He's stuck on repeat. Guess he's glitching out. Zilch! Zilch! Director Yomi, you became director of the Peacekeepers about five years ago, I believe. Things were good back then. It's no use. He's like a broken record. Well, based on what he said, Dr. Weska's lab was apparently somewhere near here three years ago. And something called Project Homunculus was carried out there. And then after that, the so-called Blank Week mystery occurred. But the real question is what the Blank Week mystery even is. I haven't asked Karumi about it yet. It's supposedly taboo in Kanai Ward, but she may know. The Flatty will probably tell ya. Try asking.
Director Yomi. Something. Vivia? There's no sign of Kurumi. Did the anemic vampire get whacked too? Well, he was half dead to begin with. How awful. Another one of your friends has been devoured. D stop saying that! Master, never mind that! Look! It's a report. This is definitely Vivia's handwriting. Regarding homunculus characteristics, homunculi do not die. Rather, even if they die, they come back to life. The unified government sought out and began research for military applications of homunculi. Their desire was to create an immortal army. Homunculi look identical to humans. You cannot tell them apart from one another in everyday life. They can become injured and ill. Some are handicapped, some are blind. But once they die, everything is repaired upon revival. Death acts as the switch for rebuilding their cells. It only takes one day. They are immortal and even have eternal youth. Their cells may grow, but they never deteriorate. They stop aging once their bodies stop growing. Those who have already stopped growing maintain that state. There are many unknowns regarding homunculus memory, but they seem to inherit those of their originals. The memories at the time of DNA extraction are carried over and completely reconstructed in the brain's memory field. It keeps the original's memories? None of them seem to have their memories, though. Well, Zulch did remember the past. 
Maybe that's the individual differences that was mentioned. Anyway, there's more to the report. What does it say? There's only one way to tell a homunculus and a human apart. Blood. Homunculi have special characteristics to their blood. Their blood's characteristics? That's the only way to tell them apart. to me. Called? By that thing? This is... But... Oh! Come on! That figure... Is that... Friend of yours, Master? Maybe. So, we gotta track him down, huh? Not here. Where did you go? Maybe this way? around hmm. huh amount of force to make it look like this. they lead underground. You're still going, Master? Yeah. I have a feeling I need to talk to that person. I wonder what's up ahead. Master, you could be falling for a trap, you know. That's possible. But I have to go. There's no other evidence around. Good point. Whether a zombie or death god pops out, comes down to your luck, master. This 
corridor goes on forever. How much longer till we reach the end? And I wonder what lies ahead. Hey, it's you. Y y you. Hey, it's you. Y y you. He can talk, but he's also bugging out. Dr. Weska, please, tell me about the homunculi. You were researching homunculi, weren't you? Huh? Homunculi? H how do you know about the biggest stain on my life? Oh, he spoke normally. He's probably reacting to the word homunculi. He doesn't seem to have completely lost his memories. Doctor, what happened to the homunculus research? Such a terrible memory. I'm ashamed to say my homunculus research with Amaterasu Corporation fell behind. Rumor had it the UG's research facility was on the doorstep of a successful experiment. So in order to catch up, the homunculus test site up ahead was constructed. There's a homunculus test site up ahead? Is that the real secret lab? I was getting impatient. I used every method imaginable to complete the research first. Do you? Dare criticize my methods? It, no! I thought so. Sacrifices are necessary during experimentation. I needed our experiment to complete a homunculus first. To silence that pesky unified government. To conduct the experiment in utmost secrecy, I purchased the entire surrounding village and made it a restricted area. And so, three years ago, the fateful Project Homunculus began. What happened in that experiment? Well, of course. <sighs> hmm? You. What happened to my experiment? It's been a week since it began. Tell me now. What happened during the blank week? What? T tell me. T Jill! 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 Ugh, he keeps breaking down at the worst time! Maybe he just needs a good smack. The blank week was mentioned again. Maybe it has something to do with the experiments that took place here. Whatever it is, we should keep moving. The homunculus testing site is up ahead. Right. Let's see it for ourselves. First, let's summarize all we've learned about the homunculi. Sure, I'm all ears! 
10 years ago, the unified government requested that Amaterasu Corporation conduct homunculus research. Three years ago, to compete with the UG's research facility, they built the homunculus testing site. That's where Project Homunculus took place, but we don't know exactly what that entails. And right after the experiments, the Blank Week mystery occurred. The masked guy! Makoto Kagatsuchi appeared at Kanai Ward right after that, too! He somehow got ahead of Peacekeeper Director Yomi and became CEO of Amaterasu. He halted the homunculus research, and as a result, the homunculi became an urban legend in Kanai Ward. And now, three years later? You and I descended on this ruined, depressed land of Kanai Ward! Fucking shutter has been completely beaten up. W what happened here? Is this the homunculus testing site? Yuma. Huh? Shinigami, did you hear that voice just now? Mm -hmm. Not really. Must have been the wind. No, I heard someone call my name. The sun is shining through the ceiling, and since it's not raining here. Could we be outside of Kanai Ward? I can smell the ocean. Maybe this was built over the sea. Whatever! Let's go! You, Mom. There it is! I heard that voice again! It's coming from over there! You sure? Don't tell me you're bugging out too! Now you're hearing things. Poor master. I'm not going crazy! I really did hear a voice! live in the boonies. I am the CEO of Amaterasu Corporation. Although, I conceded that post to someone else a little while ago. Conceded? You mean to Makoto Kagatsuchi? Oh, you're a Makoto's acquaintance. You'll have to excuse me then. 
A friend of his is a friend of mine. How about a glass of wine, too? Sorry, I'll pass. Besides, there's something I want to ask you. Very well. What is it? Ask me anything. This guy can actually communicate! Hans seems a lot more alert than the others! Master, now's your chance to get some answers! Um, I would like to ask you about the Blank Week Mystery. The Blank Week Mystery... Unfortunately, I don't know what happened. What? But piecing together the bits and pieces I know, I do have an idea. Back then, a plot about the unified government planning to occupy Kanai Ward had been uncovered. The Yuchi wanted Kanai Ward? From what I understand, the Blank Week mystery is a conspiracy the UG set up to take over the city. Why would the unified government want Kanai Ward? I have no idea. I suppose it's to steal the rights to Amaterasu Corporation. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward was wiped from the map for some time, just as the UG wanted. But we were saved by my friend, Makoto Kagutsuchi. How did Makoto overcome the threat of Kanai War disappearing? He appeared from nowhere and volunteered to negotiate with the UG. Rumor is, he has a special connection within their ranks. I didn't expect much from him, of course, but it wasn't as if we had any other choice. And before we knew it, the negotiations were complete. How? Upon arriving at the negotiation table, he immediately announced that Kanai Ward would be isolated. Unexpectedly, the UG agreed. Both sides accepted a non-intervention condition and concluded negotiations. I suspect some sort of secret arrangement was made regarding homunculus information. Makoto didn't tell you about the details of the arrangement? Well, that was part of the agreement. Speaking of, there was one other condition. He said if negotiations were successful, I would have to concede my position as CEO to him. It's hard to believe you gave up your seat as CEO to a complete stranger. I agree. It's a ridiculous story. But without him, the UG would have occupied Kanai War, and Amaterasu would have been consumed. I wanted to protect this company, and he wanted to protect Kanai Ward. Our interests aligned, and I was already quite up there in age. Makoto loves Kanai Ward and its residents. I knew I could entrust this land to him. But why the trade-off? Why did he want to be CEO of Amaterasu Corporation? He can protect Kanai Ward without it, right? But Kanai Ward is now entirely Amaterasu Corporation itself. And I know that he said he wanted to stop homunculus research immediately. In retrospect, there's no denying that the research was extremely inhumane. So Makoto became CEO of Amaterasu just to stop the homunculus research? Ultimately, 
I can say the decision to concede my position to him was the right one. Under his leadership, Amaterasu expanded its businesses. Their total assets now rival that of the UG. Long live Amaterasu, right? <laughs> Think of it? Wasn't the former CEO of Amaterasu Corp? The previous CEO died in an accident. But my guess is that actually. You think Yomi is responsible? That's just a guess, mind you. Yomi must have killed him for giving away the CEO position to Makoto. With that in mind. I don't know if he actually made the right decision. Well, if Yomi was the CEO, the city would be in much worse shape. Yuma. Yuma. There it is again! I heard it clearly this time! Ward's remaining unsolved mysteries. A brave master ventures deeper into the lab in search of the unknown. A never before seen device, suspicious equipment, a master prowling into a treacherous lab. And then. W what? W what happened? <laughs> You'll have to read the Master Goes Exploring series. Jeez, I thought something suddenly popped out. Anyway, don't go making up a series about me. Ugh, were you born joyless, Master? the one who's been calling for me. Chief. Huh? Fuzzhead, really? This guy? I'm happy to see you, even if it's like this. Do you remember me? Yuma. Yes, I'm Yuma! Chief, you understand me? This is for me? But wait! Please hear me out! Just for a little while! Master, wait. Why? Nothing good will come from chasing after the dead. Just let him go. B but 
Don't you think you should be looking at what Buzz had left for you instead? I think that's what he wants. <sighs> Fine. Chief Yako, thank you for everything! Thank goodness, the computer still works. Now I can check the disk the chief gave me. Is the camera on? Well, I hope it's recording. Let's begin. Leaving this video is the greatest stain on my career as a researcher. But given the tragedy about to occur, this record will be of great assistance. It is currently 2 a.m. Fourteen hours have passed since Project Homunculus began. I'll get straight to the point. Project Homunculus is a failure. Something unexpected occurred in our efforts to find suitable DNA. Although we successfully created homunculi, the results have been dubbed defective. Defective homunculi have a fatal flaw to them. In the revival process, their intelligence is lost. They are reduced to nothing but senseless, flesh-seeking monsters. There is also another flaw. In a previous experiment, a defective homunculus was exposed and trying to adjust for it worked against us. It made them even more violent and... We are in hell itself. They're nothing more than monsters. It's here. Listen, defective homunculi will devour humans down to their bones. They will drink every last drop of your blood. At this rate. What the? That was Dr. Huesca, right? Looks like a zombie got to him. But Project Homunculus supposedly happened three years ago. If the doctor died in a failed experiment three years ago, then who was the Dr. Huesca I met in Amaterasu's lab? I mean, he is right there. Why not ask him? Oh, right. Dr. Weska, please tell me, do you remember what happened in the experiment three years ago? Hey, it's you. Uh, you. You. Hey. 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 Damn it! It's no use. The video could have been fake. Maybe if it was just some random disc. But Chief Yaka went out of his way to give it to me. It has to be an important clue. But the last part was nothing but static, so there's no telling what he was saying. The homunculi have some sort of flaw. If they have a weakness, we need to know it. Did you get to meet your benefactor? Perhaps you finally obtained the truth. 
Speaking of which... Don't you think you should return to the factory? Kurumi is in danger. What? Hey! Master! You really never give up, do you? Despite all the murders you've seen, despite getting knocked out over and over again, you were framed as a criminal, and even murdered real criminals in the name of truth. I'm surprised you still call yourself a detective. Oh, to be clear, that's a compliment. A normal person would have fled. Anyone with even the slightest bit of a conscience wouldn't be able to take it. And yet, here you are. It'd be one thing if you were using your abilities, but you're actually using a Death God's powers, aren't you? Huh? This guy knows about me? How? Perhaps you're trying to corner me with all these acrobatics. But in truth, this is the worst possible move you can make. You can never outsmart me. She's not here. Kurumi, where are you? Knowing that Vladdy's personality, she wouldn't go back the way she came. Try looking for her up ahead. Right. Let's look that way first. Right here, Matt! Before you know it, the truth is right in front of you. Have you been enjoying my party? So, it is you after all. Makoto Kagutsuchi! It's you, isn't it? The white smoke that knocked us out at the detective agency was from that gift you gave me! What's your goal here? What are you trying to make me do? Please continue enjoying the rest of the tour. Damn it! How many times did I warn you to stay away from him? You should have listened! It's all too late now. Besides, I'm sure from the moment I got on the Amaterasu Express, I was fated to meet Makoto. It's too obvious of a setup to call it fate. This is way more like the perfect crime or something! Is that... The 
hitman who killed the chief? Is it you? Is it really you? Are you Fink the Slaughter Artist? Hold on, Master! He's not in any condition to talk! I... did... my job. <gasps> he talked! Just... like always. The only... difference... the target... was... a detective. Is he talking about what happened? During the hit, a lot of commotion. Still, I did my job. I knew it'd be a tough job from the start. But I couldn't refuse Makoto Kagatsuchi introduced me. Huh? The client didn't. No. But otherwise, I would have refused the job. After completing the job, I was told I knew too much. <clears throat> Master, if what he's saying is true... Makoto was the one who instigated the Chief to hire the Hitman. Does that mean he knew about the Chief and Yomi's plot and took advantage of it? All to eliminate Yomi. And he took the Chief's life too. Even me being there was part of his plan. He's had me in the palm of his hand all along. If that's the case, I'll make him pay! Damn. <sighs> Killing the hitman once the job was complete. Makoto Kakatsuchi sure is thorough. It's like he's totally emotionless. At this point, I respect the guy more than I fear him. This is... I get it! was devoured. The biggest dimwit survived the longest. Perhaps thanks to her overpowered ability. <laughs> it's Fubuki's handwriting. Homunculus experiment report. My apologies. I do not understand what is on the computer screen, so I will copy it down, word for word. Three years ago, the Unified Government's research facility successfully created the first homunculus. The secret to their success was the DNA used as the core for their artificial cells. Their focus was on individual differences in DNA, so they experimented with various peoples. They found success in one person's DNA, someone believed to have the world's greatest mind. 
But because of that greatest mind, the completed homunculus was able to reflect on its condition. As a result, it realized it was a homunculus and escaped the research facility. Currently, that specimen is still missing. So the Yuji's research facility successfully created a homunculus three years ago. And Project Homunculus occurred at the same time. So that's why Amaterasu Corp grew impatient. The key point is that the specimen went missing. Probably has nothing to do with this city, though. But what's this about someone having the best brain in the world? They gotta be exaggerating. away six months ago? Yes. I lost you when I went looking for her. But I got to talk to her a bit. She looked and talked differently from how I remembered. Still, I finally got to say goodbye. I think she understood. That's good to hear. I got to see Chief Yako back there too. The Chief? Did you speak to him? No, not really. But he did hand me something that exposes the truth about this place. That sounds like something the Chief would do. Oh, right! There was something I remembered after talking with Aiko. What do you mean? I'm so glad Kurumi's alright. Don't breathe a sigh of relief just yet, Master. The Vladi said she remembered something. What in the world did Karumi remember? Let's see what she has to say. That's not it! Master... What did you remember? Um... Heiko really hated syringes. She'd raise hell whenever the school gave out vaccines. Um, where's this coming from? I'm getting there. I mentioned syringes to see if it was really Aiko I was talking to. Then I suddenly remembered. A few years ago, something bizarre happened in the city. What happened? Everyone in Kanai Ward had to take a blood test. The peacekeepers ordered it. And no one could refuse. A forced blood test? Back then, we were told it was to test for a contagious disease. I had no reason to doubt it at the time. But my grandpa didn't actually get tested. He said it was suspicious how the peacekeepers were enforcing it. You mean your grandpa who went missing? Yeah. And you know what? Grandpa disappeared right after the blood test. He and his friends did everything they could to make sure no one found out they avoided the test. But right after it happened, Grandpa was caught and completely vanished. The same happened to anyone who didn't take the test. Hold on, Kurumi. By it, do you mean... the blank week mystery? Huh? Y yeah, I do. All I've heard is that the Blank Week mystery is a taboo within Kanai Ward. Can you tell me about it? What exactly is the Blank Week? I can't tell you anything. No matter who you ask, you'll get the same answer. That's because... no one remembers it. What do you mean? 
you don't remember? I woke up one day and the entire city was ruined. It was like a tornado had swept through. Not only were the outdoors destroyed, but the inside of our homes too. Something terrible must have happened while we were sleeping, but none of the residents remember a thing. How could that be possible? In fact, my home was torn to pieces too. But I don't remember anything that happened back then. But that's not all. Within that time, the Dayton Kanai Ward had moved forward by a week. A whole week passed while you were asleep? I... think so. But we never quite found out what really happened. When we woke up, everyone in Kanai Ward barely even noticed that it had been completely ravaged. Businesses with dealings outside the city were aware they had a week of no activity. But right afterwards, Kanai Ward was completely isolated, so no one could look into it. In the end, it was all forgotten while things were still uncertain. No, I think it's more accurate to say we chose to forget. It was all too bizarre... and scary. It kind of became a touchy subject, and no one wanted to talk about it. So that's why the Blank Week mystery became taboo. There were lots of different rumors about it at the time, but no one knows what really happened. Some people said that Kanai Ward's clocks had all malfunctioned. Some said we were all drugged by some organization. Others think our internal clocks got messed up and we all fell asleep for a week. But... We don't know the truth. What do you think happened? It's like time froze for the whole city! All we know is that my grandfather and others like him completely vanished back then. Hanai Ward's unending reign also began right after those events. Huh? The Blank Week mystery triggered it? This is so mysterious. That's... all I know. I see. Thank you. <sighs> Even I don't know what's going on here. But all that info sure seems useful. She should have told us about that sooner. You can't blame her. It's taboo, remember? By the way, Yuma, did you search the whole factory? What was the truth that voice was talking about? I still don't know. But I haven't checked everything. I don't know what's behind that door. We've already come this far. We might as well check everything. Wait! Don't go alone! It's too dangerous! She sure loves to act before she thinks! something. Kurumi, it might be dangerous up ahead. I'll go first. Huh? But... Leave this to a detective. I'll be right back once I've confirmed it's safe. Then we can check it out together. Please don't disappear on me again. You had me worried back there. Uh, okay. But... Please be careful.
that? A corpse? A human corpse? It's on the conveyor belt! Then, those meat buns... No way! You're kidding! This is horrible! Why make such a thing? Master, there's something else over there. We should check everything first. <gasps> What's up? I don't even want to think about what's up ahead. They're all real corpses? What is this? This is a fridge, isn't it? I don't know, but it looks kind of cold. So many refrigerated bodies. Whoever did this must be a total psycho. What's going on here? Real human corpses. Master, look! There's something in its pocket! It looks like a note, but the handwriting is hard to read. Maybe someone was rushing to write this before they died. No cuts off here. WDO did this? That's gotta be bogus, right? I want to believe that too. But why would someone write down a lie in their final moments? If what's written here is true, then I don't know what to believe anymore. Well, if these guys are all dangerous criminals, they didn't deserve to live anyway, right? It's not something you should worry about, Master. Just because they're dangerous criminals, it doesn't mean they should be slaughtered like this! It's not right! And why turn them into meat buns? <laughs> Calm down, Master! It's better not to think about it! Shut up! <sighs> Get a solution deep for now. We are finally catching a glimpse of the truth, but it's not over yet. The mystery you need to solve awaits outside the factory. You want to expose all truths, don't you? Then press on, detective. Hurry. 
before you can't trust anything anymore. So that you can keep trusting in yourself. Come on! Solve the mystery! Nothing at all. Huh? Oh. Too bad. What is it? You look pale. No, I'm fine. It's best if Kurumi doesn't learn about the meat buns yet. She's been eating those things for so long. Truth is waiting ahead. Are you ready, Kurumi? Yes, of course. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. Huh? Never mind. If you slip down a slope like this... Vivia, were you reading Fantastique again? 
No, it's a mystery this time. I think these are nice once in a while. Oh, so you read those too? <laughs> I guess it doesn't fit me. It is a bit of a cliché for a detective to read mystery novels. So, you haven't read the genre in a while. What's this one about? Hmm. Well, I suppose I'd feel comfortable telling you. Huh? What do you mean by that? The protagonist is an earnest rookie detective. He began his investigation after receiving a request from a certain girl. Her mother died under suspicious circumstances. Who killed the girl's mother and why? The rookie detective continues his desperate investigation. He seeks the truth, all for the sake of this girl. But the truth that awaits him is cruel. For the girl murdered her own mother. Oh. Wow, what a twist! The girl may not have meant any harm, but her actions unintentionally caused her mother's horrible death. It was a tragic accident. The rookie detective didn't know if it was right to solve this mystery. What was the point in exposing this cruel truth to the public? Under a standard set of values, one would keep it a secret and remain quiet. There would be no benefit to telling the innocent girl she was the cause of her mother's death. However, the girl wanted that mystery to be solved with all her heart. Not knowing she was the culprit all along, Should we reveal the truth to those who seek it, no matter how cruel it may be? Would you say lies made from kindness are truly kind? What do you think the rookie detective did in the end? Or rather, what would you have done, Yuma? Me? I would have solved the mystery. Hmm. I see. What did the rookie do in the end? Well, human cells will always replace one another. The old vanishes, and in time, the new turns old. Considering that, am I the same person at birth? as I am at death. There you go again, trying to muddy the waters. Are you saying I should just read it myself? Well, who knows? You told me pretty much the whole thing, but kept the conclusion a secret. Wait, that book's story... Is it about you, Vivia? Hmm. Why do you say that? It's something you mentioned before. Not all mysteries should be solved. Maybe it's your personal experience that led you to believe that. <laughs> your deduction makes sense. But I'm not sure myself. Please don't dodge the subject. I told you, didn't I? I don't think all mysteries should be solved. Whether the story I told you now is from a book or my life, it doesn't change a thing. Anyway, I'm off to explore another world inside a book. So, which is it? If that's what Vivi's been through, why tell me about it? Maybe in his own way, he wants me to understand him. That... Would be nice if it's true. Hmm. Maybe the
This is an unsolvable mystery. <laughs> Master, you and Vivia have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Just thinking about what might happen. Chimney. This looks like the public bath for the village. Jeez, things have been getting troubling lately. Yuma, you got anything to share that could cheer me up? Huh? I don't know what to say when I'm put on the spot like that. How are things going with you and Kurumi? I want you to pull on my heartstrings with stories of young love. There's nothing like that between us. It's not like I like her or anything. Uh-huh. You're just not being honest with yourself. What about you, Chief? From the looks of things, you appear to be single. I thought you said you used to be pretty popular. Sure was! Back in my prime, I went way beyond three and four timing. Everybody was head over heels for me. You sure about that? Nah, I seriously doubt it. They'd all be fighting for my attention whenever I got a minute of free time. Oh, and they'd get so jealous if they found out they weren't my one and only. It was adorable. They were like cute little kittens, the way they'd come up to me wanting a drink. Huh? Wanting a drink? Wait a minute. You're referring to a hostess club. The women all worked there, didn't they? What? No! You admitted they were all asking you for drinks. <laughs> Crap! Chief, you don't need to put on airs like that. You're not a kid anymore. Uh, I'm sorry. The truth is, I wasn't popular at all. Why would you lie about that? 
Well, Yuma, just remember one thing. Huh? What? I'm speaking here as a man with much more life experience, not as your chief. If you fall in love with a woman, you have to protect her, no matter what. That, and that alone, is why men are made to be men. Huh? It, sure. What's up with Buzzhead? He looks so serious. I'll keep that in mind, but what's gotten into you all of a sudden? Well... I stopped visiting the girl I liked for a while. Well, when I was broke, then I found out she quit and went back home. People only realize how important something is uh, after they've lost it. I don't quite understand. <laughs> I can't tell if he's being serious or not. He laughed it off at the end, but I could tell that story was important to him. I'll keep what he said in mind. <laughs> Master, you and Yako have forged the ultimate bond together! Good for you, Master! I'm happy for you! Yeah. Whatever it is, it's a bit excessive. Could this be part of the truth he mentioned? Master, there's a switch! What do you want to do? Shinigami, could you check out the top of the shelf, please? Leave it to me! Aww, no luck. 
Uh, there's nothing special here. Oh, thanks, Shinigami. This giant bath has helped rejuvenate a lot of stressed out people. Now there's just some machine being used for who knows what. Nothing lasts forever. Are you going to flip the switch? Inside. I repeat, a state of emergency has been declared. All residents, please seek shelter inside. clearing up. So the stuff coming out of the chimney was... rain clouds? Huh? This machine's a device that creates rain clouds? The machine creates artificial clouds to make it rain all over Kanai Ward. To think, even the rain has been artificial this whole time. There is no truth in this city. Everything is a lie. turn off the alarm before we celebrate our reunion. Aren't you worried about Kurumi's body? Here, lend me a hand.
is back. It seems like things have settled down. What was that? Is it because I stopped the device? Master, be careful. Congratulations, Yuma. You finally arrived at the truth of this city. Congratulations? Enough! I've had enough of your games! Games? I've been taking this seriously the entire time. Especially when it comes to Kanai War. What is your goal? Why are you doing this? You still don't know? I want you to understand the truth about this place. The truth? You mean this big device? This is but a small portion of the truth. Of course, I'm the one who created this contraption, although it's a rather makeshift design. Using the old bathhouse's chimney was brilliant, hmm? The melding of my genius ideas and the world's best technology. Why did you even make it? I don't owe you any explanations, but You've made it this far, so you deserve something. As you know, Amaterasu's experiment resulted in defective homunculi. Do you know the fatal flaw within all defective homunculi? One is an extreme decrease in intelligence when they're resurrected. In other words, they turn into zombies. They may be immortal, but upon returning from death, they become monsters that seek human flesh. The other flaw is sunlight. Sunlight? When defective homunculi encounter sunlight, they become extremely stressed and lose control. They'll return to normal if you block out the sun, but while they're berserk, they lose all reason and memories. Reason and memories? To be exact, it's an allergic reaction to ultraviolet rays. If left in this state, they eventually die. But things will continue to spiral out of control. Once they die, they turn into zombies. In other words, sunlight is the greatest enemy of the defective homunculi. You were blocking out the sun for them. And to do that, you created a cage of rain over the entire city? When the clouds grow thick enough to block the sun, rain starts to fall. It's a natural phenomenon. To keep them stable requires clouds thick enough to cause rainfall. I can form rain clouds all across Kanai Ward from here. The altitude and wind conditions make it ideal. The result, of course, is that Kanai Ward became a city of unending rain. Why build such a major contraption just for some defects? Defects, hmm? Who are you to say something like that? What do you mean? You've lost so much on your long journey here. But now... Well, look at your hands. What do you have left? You're right. Maybe I am empty. But I've been able to face many truths by relying on the strength of my friends. I didn't make it this far on my own. It was thanks to those who helped me. Especially your Sterilli. So... Even though I'm empty, I have everyone with me. That 
That's why I was able to corner you! Corner me? <laughs> An interesting way to put it. But if you want to corner someone... This is how you do it. Ain't no fair! He never said he had a gun! One pull of the trigger and you're dead. Looks like I've got you cornered, Yuma. <laughs> hmm. There's a spark in your eyes. Like you still have an ace up your sleeve. Okay. Fine. Play your card. Let's finish this. Use the power of the Book of Death! about that? What do we do, Shinigami? I hate to use him now that he's spoiled the whole thing, but let's do it! And honestly, you'll be killed if I don't, Master. Thank you. The target mystery is the mass of corpses found in the factory refrigerator. Considering the scale of all this, even I don't know what the mystery labyrinth will look like. What's wrong? Hurry up. The mystery you want to solve is right here. Come on. Solve Kanai Ward's ultimate secret! Expose all of my crimes! It's kill or be killed! There's no time to hesitate. Are you sure? One wrong move and you'll be forever trapped in the mystery labyrinth. Of course. And I won't blame you if that happens. You've saved me so many times already. Alright! Here goes! Right. Let's do it, Shinigami! This may be... the final mystery labyrinth! Okay, then. Wait, if this is our last one, can we do it normally? You know, together. S sure, I don't mind. Down the rabbit hole we go! 